Suddenly there was a whoosh and a whoosh and a clackety-clack as a streak of silver roared by on the track. Visiting fireboxes! Silly little engine. Bubbling boilers! Watch my paintwork! Rail Raider! He was big. He was silver. But for the whole summer... ...is terrible. Ugh, the indignity. He's taken over my express line. He'll never have a shiny coat like mine. Yes, boss. Sorry, boss. I was trying, boss. Just a slip of my hook. So, Thomas, don't puff round the island pulling heavy loads or any other silly ideas. I need really useful engines, not really broken ones. Job done! Job done! Now I must hurry! The express mustn't be late! Well done, Gordon! Thank you, Thomas! Thomas, the mail cars are still missing! Spencer is at the Sodor Steamworks. The building materials for the summer house are stacked up at the docks, and you're not working on your branch line. What is going on? I'm sorry, sir. Tomorrow, then, Thomas. Don't worry, Thomas. We'll all take it in turns to guard Hero. Tomorrow, it will all be all right. Spencer, why did you take Percy's mail cars? You have caused confusion and delay. But I didn't take the... I'm not interested in your excuses, Spencer. Find Percy and give him back his mail cars. At once. Famous. He's the master of the railway. Why did you think I would scrap the master of the railway, Thomas? Why didn't you ask me? You're not alone anymore. We must help Hero at once. Send him to the Sodor Steamworks. Victor will have his funnel bright and pistons pumping in no time. Welcome, Hero. It's a pleasure to meet you after so long. Victor will make sure that you will soon be master of the railway once more. Sorry, boss! <laughs> so I see. I understand, Thomas. You did well to ask me. Of course I will help you. Tell Hero not to worry. This is a big day! The Lion of Sodor is here! Thomas, this is a terrible mess! Gordon and James laughed, and Thomas felt very silly. I will be the smartest engine on the whole island! Clickety-clack, express on the track! Oh no, Loam. Have you been up to your old tricks again? Mission accomplished. No one is hurt and everyone is safe. Great to see you, Thomas. Good job, Harold! Thank you, sir. A kind of a tight squeeze coming into land, sir. That's why Sodor needs a search and rescue center. Those steamies think diesels are dirty and steamies are special. I'll show them that I'm just as really useful as they are. I see. I understand. Goodbye. Sir Topham Hatt was stern. Thomas did not arrive on the mainland. Thomas is missing. James, Gordon, and Edward, you must sail to Misty Island immediately. I will come with you. Percy was puzzled. Hmm. Maybe, Percy. Fetch Whiff. He knows all about the tunnel. Thomas! The mist is too thick! We can't see to puff! Sorry, boss! <laughs> Hello! My name's Kevin. Just give me a call. Whatever you need, I'll take care of it all. <laughs> but Sir Topham had beamed. Don't worry. I can find another hat. But I'll never find another Thomas. It was dark now. James couldn't see which engine was there. Lamps just make engines look silly. 
Goodbye, Henry. I'm not Henry. I'm Thomas. Lamps make engines look silly. Goodbye, Percy. Thomas, what is going on? The mayor is waiting for the Jobywood. Edward is swinging on a bridge. Logs are jumping like frogs. And my shiny red coat is ruined. Hurry up with those valves. We don't have all day, you know. Oh, the indignity. No, Gordon. Oh, the silliness. On clean Sodor Day, no job was more important than to be in charge of Whiff's Waste Dump. Your best friend's having a very good time with that big blue engine. I'm busy. Thomas is busier. With Belle. <laughs> Do the diesels have somewhere like this? We have the diesel works. But it's not grand like the steam works at all. Your best friend doesn't have time for you anymore, Percy. You should find a new best friend. A friend who has time for you. A friend who listens to you. Diesel smiled at Percy. I'd like to, Percy. But I have to go to the diesel works. My friends are waiting for me there. Flynn will be another new friend for Thomas. Then he'll have even less time for you. Diesel clanked closer. Last night, I told my friend at the Diesel Works about you. He'd like you to visit. He told me to tell you that you'd be a very special visitor there. He'd have a lot of time for you. You weren't at Tidmouth Sheds. <laughs> The Diesels must not get away with this! We'll stop their trickery with a whoosh and a wheesh! He... No! Thank you, Toby. I do not need Rocky's help. Nearly there, Gordon! Father! Oh, the indignity. Oh, my paintwork! You are right to tell me, Paxton. We don't want an engine like that on our island. He could knock one of us into the sea next. It could be you. <gasps> oh, boy! We'll find the Fat Controller, and he'll tell the Thin Controller. And together, they'll make sure Luke leaves Sodor forever. Who's there? Thomas. Is that him? Are you the engine that pushes other engines into the sea? I've heard all about you. Now, the Fat Controller and the Thin Controller will sort your little friend out once and for all. <laughs> Come down, Luke. Thomas can't help you. We know what you've done. And what you did was bad. You'll have to leave Sodor. The Fat Controller will make sure of that. You didn't do anything wrong! Nonsense, Thomas! Luke, I am very happy to meet you, at last. Welcome to my railway. You did not find out the whole story before you caused confusion and delay. It is always important to find out what really happened. Because what really happened is what really matters. Today is a very happy day for Mr. Percival and all his engines. No, Thomas. Sir Topham Hatt will ask me. I am Gordon, and I pull the express. Pulling those trucks will make you a really stinky engine. Not a really useful one. Foo wee! You're a stinky engine already. Good morning, Peter Sam. Good morning, Thomas. Good, Good morning, morning, sir. I must meet with Sir Topham Hatt. All the other engines are busy today, so I have told them that you, Peter Sam, will be in charge while I am away. I hope we're not all having a wash for Spencer. I heard that he's bringing a very important passenger. James is right. 
We do have a special visitor today. Wait, that's not fair. Nobody said we were starting. You don't need three engines to pull one flatbed. Okay, James, you can stay behind. No, I want to come too. Wait for me. Oh, oh, oh. That's it, Cranky. I'm getting another crane to come and help you clean up this dockside. Kevin! Coming! <laughs> you called, boss? Ah, Kevin. Wow! Cranky does like me, and he thinks I'm really useful. And he even called me Kevin. Let's get scratching! Dear, oh dear, such a messy engine. Oh, I'd hate to be that dirty. If I looked that scruffy, I'd stay in my shed. It doesn't bother me. I'm happy just the way I am. Right, let's get you cars back to the waste dump and get scrunching. Woohoo! <gasps> no! This is fun. Winston! Faster, faster! Winston! Come back here! Thomas, stop! Stop! Follow that inspection car! Ha-ha! We're catching up! Well done, Thomas! Oh, my. Hang on, folks! I'll have you down in no time! Oh, oh, oh. Oh. oh, help! Help! I've never driven a sleigh before! Stop this thing! Oh no! Sam! Thomas! Help! And then the ghost train rattled over the bridge, waking up everyone with its spooky whistle. Ooh. Now get in line, you silly trucks, and stay still. Right, now it's your turn. It's the only way to get these troublesome trucks to do what you want, Edward. So mind your own business. Not again. While they may be better known for playing tricks on their fellow engines... You can say that again. ...by rescuing Thomas from the landslide at the China Clay Pits, they have proved once again that they are really useful and brave engines. Really silly engines, more like. Brave? Huh. I'm braver than they'll ever be. Monster! Oh, monster! Come out, come out, wherever you are! Nobody can say I'm the scaredy engine now. I mean, I don't see any other engines up here. Nothing to be frightened of at all. There was something poking out of the rocks up ahead, and it looked like... The monster! Oh! Oh! The monster! The monster! I saw it! Oh! Go forward! The monster! is coming. Let's all hide so he can't find us. It'll be very funny. <laughs> okay. Uh, I like funny jokes. <laughs> Come on, Sydney. You need to hide too. So many accidents. How could this have happened on my railway? 
It was nobody's fault. It was an accident. I was in a hurry to go, and Rocky wasn't ready, so... So... Oh, actually, sir, I suppose it was my fault. I didn't give Rocky time to secure his crane arm properly. That's why he was swinging about. I can't say that I am very happy about this, James, but I am proud of you for admitting what you have done. <laughs> and who are you? Oh, dear. Sir Topham Hatt must have made a terrible mistake. I think he was expecting someone really useful. <laughs> for fetching coaches, perhaps. Oh, well. If you stick around long enough, you might be lucky enough to see me pulling the express. That will be a fine sight for you. <gasps> Does that mean I'm the best? The last number one was a coffee pot. <laughs> Stop chatting and bring me my coaches. My coaches! Hurry up, you! Hurry up yourself! Hmm... Yes, I will... Paul Thomas was going faster than he'd ever gone before. Hurry, hurry, hurry! Express coming through! Ah! Ha! Well, little Thomas, now you know what hard work is like, don't you? <laughs> or this face. If any engine should get their picture in the paper, it should be a modern diesel engine, like me. <laughs> Are you sure? That's a funny place to pick up a mare. Plans change, Percy. You'd better hurry now. You don't want to miss the photographers, do you? No, I don't. Thanks, Diesel. Bye. <laughs> Who's that pushing? It's me, Diesel. <laughs> Out of the way, slow coach. There's no need for that, Diesel. Yes, there is, Thomas. I'm a Diesel. Hard as nails, always rough. A Diesel should be rough and tough. I never rough. Well, you must be a softie, then. <laughs> Who's doing that? <laughs> Don't pop a piston, Percy. Diesel? But I was here first. And now I'm here. If you were nicer to other engines, you'd have more friends. My friends don't like me because I'm nice, Thomas. They like me because I'm rough and tough. Isn't that right, lads? Yeah, Diesel. Yeah. Rough and tough. Rough and tough. Rough and tough. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was just thinking. The dump is a really long way away. So we should hurry up. Or, instead of taking our waste all the way there... We could just dump it over this wall. Exactly! That will save loads of time. And be really <laughs> useful. Do you two know each other? Yes, Thomas. We know each other. This is my brother. They call him... The Flying Scotsman. Indeed they do. It almost makes me sound famous, doesn't it? <laughs> it's not a tough decision, though, I have to confess. It's hard to find a better engine for the Express. Hmm, precisely. But I didn't mean not to take me, sir. You ought to take me, sir. I'm modern and new. Your first diesel ever. I'm loyal, kind and true. We have to do everything we can, Paxton. Oh, OK, Diesel. But I still don't see what your plan is. My plan is to make you look like a Ah, one of my cars, so that I look like I'm pulling a very, very heavy train all by myself. I'm full of surprises, they ought to say of me. I bring some razzle-dazzle to the yard. I'm full 
of surprises. As you can plainly see, I don't find being surprising all that hard. You should have known it was Thomas pulling you and not me. Does that sound like a steamy's whistle? Over here! <laughs> Be too many cars for a little tank engine like you. Why don't you ask another engine to help you? <laughs> a little tank engine who wants to see the world. <laughs> Take a look around you, Thomas. This is your world. <laughs> Fish cars? Fish cars? Oh, the indignity. Thomas! Thomas! Where is Thomas? He coupled fish cars to the back of the express today. Just wait until I catch up with him.